Good morning, Devon. What would you have this morning? Hey, Ricky, the usual, please. Here you go. Have a great day. Thanks, man. <laughs> Dude, watch where you're throwing that thing. Oh, don't mind me. Just having fun throwing this ball at people's faces. Well, cut it out. It's not funny. I'm going to be late for school. I don't have time to be dealing with you. Part 1 complete. <laughs> And that's how I won the Little Miss Holyfield pageant. Wow, I'm so jealous. I wish I was there. Me too. I'm sure you were great. Jessica, you've been so quiet. Are you okay? Sorry girls, I was just thinking about Trevor. Why would anyone want to hurt him like that? The doctor said he'll be fine, so no need to worry. It's not just that, it's all these bullies. I don't think we're safe anymore with them around. I feel like they're making it hard for us to enjoy this school year. Actually, my mom told me about some gang called the Bullies Club. Wait, what? Yeah, the Bullies Club. You know Big Lenny, the guy that bullied me in middle school. Then there's Lexi, Demi's cousin, Justin, Fernando, Shnickel, Dora, and Classic Caillou. Dora and Classic Caillou. I heard from my stepdad that they were disowned by their parents, and decided to join them. I didn't believe there was a bullies club, until now. As much as they want us to be, I'm not afraid of them. Me neither. Same here, girlfriend. We have to stop them somehow. Oh, since we're talking about the bullies club, Justin hit me on the back of the head with a ball. Devon, not you too. That's it. I refuse to let my school live in fear of these animals. I'm trying my mom so we can put a stop to this. You really think Principal Crumbly can handle this? Of course she can. She'll even get the school board involved, maybe even the police. We're dealing with criminals here. And besides, it's the least I can do after how I treated you last year. I still feel bad about it, and I want to make up for it. Don't worry about that, Ashley. It's all in the past. Besides, you are making up for it by helping me, so I appreciate it. But anyways, I overheard Lexi talking about HQ, but I have no idea where it is. Even these jerks got an HQ? They're so dramatic. I'll ask Andrew to locate it for us. He's the smartest. And he forgave me for how I treated him too. That's a good idea, Ashley. Get it done. We'd better get to class. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. Oh, I was just about to text you. I finally found the coordinates to the Bullies Club headquarters. Andrews, you are a superhero. Show it to me. Sure. One second. There. 6675 Honeymoon Drive. That old warehouse by the hardware store. EW, that deserted place. But whatever, now we know where they are. Thanks, Andrew. So that's where they're seeking refuge, huh? Yes, yeah, at this address here. Now we can get the authorities, and put an end to them. Lenny, they're on to us. They know where we are and they're coming to get us any second. Are you serious? Well, looks like we'll have to change plans. Come back for now. So you kids must be the bullies club, huh?
We've been told by the principal of the school that you've been terrorizing students at the school. And classic Caillou and Dora, I'm not surprised that you two are a part of this. Technically, we haven't done anything yet. We only just joined. But you're still accomplices. Well, I didn't do anything either. You can't arrest me. But you're the leader of the pack. That makes you guilty just like everybody else. You all are coming with us. You'll have to catch me first. Love you, Crater. Reggie, I'll catch Lenny. You deal with these guys. Got it, mate. Unit respond. We have a runner. Leader of the bullies club is on the run. Backup required. I'm so tired. This is why big guys like me don't run. Leonard Bernston, you're under arrest. There's no point in running now. Really? That's good to hear. Thanks, Stephen. I'll be home in an hour. I just heard from my stepdad. He said that the bullies club has been taken care of. Good. I'm happy that's done, but I still don't feel better. But thank you for taking care of me, even when you didn't have to. Trevor, I care about you. I would do anything for you. And I would never forgive myself if something happened to you. It really wasn't your fault, Jessica. It was Fernando. But it's over now. Now we can live in peace, after the court case. Dear Diary, I'm here taking care of Trevor, and I'm feeling happy now. I just found out that these bullies came from the Bullies Club, and Holyfield High School is now free. But what's going to happen to them at the court case? Regardless, I hope they'll learn their lesson, and they'll change their ways. We'll just have to wait and see.